before with no look with the look yeah all of a sudden we're at the movies kind of like that bonjour everyone welcome back to my studio and happy new year this is the first video of 2026 i hope that you had a great end of the year holiday and that your new year is starting well i wish you a lot of creativity a lot of success for the goals that you want to crush health and all that good stuff and happiness you know uh, we need that so and in fact i've been shooting quite a bit of film this time film photography and had a lot of fun with it it really you know sparked my creativity and absolutely loved it I had so much fun with it now i want to kick start this new year with a tutorial on how to be as efficient as possible in the grading suite when you get a new project in and you've got to grade it how to be as fast and efficient as possible with your new project so without further ado let's dive in today i've got three shots on my timeline right here which were shot on fx3 it's a fisherman in west africa that is going to fish and then and gets back from his fishing day and we've got a beautiful night scene here next to a fire let's pretend that i need to grade this project today now that i have all the shots on my timeline i want to set my project settings properly and today we're going to go very simple about it and we're going to use davinci resolve color management so let's go into our project settings and hit the cogwheel icon right here then color management and color science i'm going to set it to davinci yrgb color managed i'm going to disable automatic color management and here in color processing mode i'm going to select hdr davinci white gamut intermediate and then for my output color space i'm going to select rec 709 gamma 2.4 and then i'm going to hit save now nothing has happened because i need to select all the shots on my timeline here right click and tell davinci which is their color space so i'm going to go input color space sony and then s gamut 3 cine s log 3 which is the log color space these shots were shot in and when i do that you can see that all of a sudden my footage is now properly converted to rec 709 if you want to use nodes to do your color management you can totally do so and you should get the exact same visual results but today for simplicity i'm using the simplest route for you guys now that i have done that all right so these shots are properly exposed okay this one this one is properly exposed as well this one i mean i don't see anything wrong going on with that this one might be a tiny bit underexposed um and this one properly exposed i would say in context of the lighting conditions but leaning a bit too magenta all right when i look at my vector scope right here so that's something that i will probably have to address all right so i'm going to create two nodes on my node graph first node is going to be exposure second node is going to be color balance and to create a new node you need to press option s now let's select the other clips in my timeline right click and go apply grade so all the shots will have these two nodes okay and i want to correct first for that color balance shift i'm going to go into my primaries and with my offset bowl with my panel i'm going to push some green into my image all right so before after before after now that feels better to my eye we've regained some green all right some separation and it feels more natural i'm going to go to the next shot right click and go apply grade all right before after that feels better okay cool now let's go to shot number two because i want to set a look for this project i'm going to click on 
the second dot right here, which is my timeline level node graph, and create a node here, pressing option S. I'm going to call this node look. Now the number one thing you can do to speed up your grading is to apply a solid look to your footage. What is a solid look? Well, a solid look is something that is going to offer you a really nice starting point for your grading and not going to cause problems. Like if you apply the look, it's not going to create artifacts or break your images. It's going to preserve your middle exposure. You're not going to see massive exposure shifts. You're going to be able to quickly go from one look to the next and see, okay, this look is going to be best suited for this project. If you enjoy the content here, please take a second to pause the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the little notification bell icon. This is going to make sure that you not miss the future videos that I'm going to make. And I promise you that I'm going to keep sharing really good insights when it comes to professional color grading. Now let's go on with the video. Now, how do you do that? Well, you can create a look from scratch with your RGB curves, for example, go with hue versus hue and create something, okay, from scratch. That is way number one, but it's going to take quite a bit of time. Way number two, which is free, is going to be opening your open effects and select film look creator. So like the film look creator, you're gonna drag that in. And that is a look, you can play with the parameters here, you know, before, after, before, after. That is free and solid and you can use that. When I go to shot number three now, before, after, all right, I have a nice look going on here. Before, after, before, after, okay, cool. And you can tweak the parameters here to create the look that you want, all right? What I want to show you today is a look pack that I have created, which is called Studio Looks, and uh, you can see that on screen. I have designed five looks that give you different solid starting points that are going to be versatile enough to tackle any projects that you are working on. And these looks will preserve middle exposure, they will not break your images, and they are going to help you quickly reach a solid starting point for grading your projects. So I'm going to open my LUT folder, I'm going to go into the Studio Looks folder, let's go to the Starter Pack, and here are the five looks. So we've got celluloid, which is a film inspired look. So let's go before, after, before, after. Maybe these night shots need to be open when it comes to exposure. So I'm going to go into my HDR wheel and I'm going to add a stop of exposure here. All right, before, after, maybe not so much. So let's go down in exposure slightly before, after before after okay let's apply this here so there is celluloid we've got amber which is going to be a warm deep contrast look we've got halo which is something softer and which is going to be a nice base for commercial work without too much of a creative look in place we've got mist which has a softer contrast a cooler color palette and nicely invoke some yellow accents. And we've got Obsidian, which is a black and white look uh, inspired from old classic black and white movies. Um, I love this one. I love how the shadows and highlights roll off. So these are going to be a really nice library. It doesn't have 20 looks, okay? Just five, so I know them really well and I can addition quickly which one is going to be the best starting point for my project. I think I like the warmth in amber for this project. Now what I'm going to do now that I've stated that amber is a good option for my grade today, all right, because I like the warmth, you know, this is West Africa and I like the vibe that is providing to the footage, okay? Maybe let's go down in exposure here slightly before, after, all right, so that's before the look, that's after the look, okay, before, after. I'm going to go into my gallery, 
and in my look node I'm going to drag and drop Amber and when I do that I have the three nodes that were used to create this look okay and I have control over each characteristic of the look so this is the split node which is pushing some warmth into my image I have the contrast node which is responsible of the contrast okay so in fact I believe that the contrast might be a little bit too strong and you have access to all that control when you are using the expert pack okay so now I can go into my contrast node I'm going to go to my key tab and I'm going to pull my gain down in the contrast just a little bit just to 75 percent or so which means that I'm only applying 75 percent of the contrast of this look but I am using all the other characteristics okay and let's see what we've got going on on my other images so let's grab a still here uh, because I believe that we might be a little bit underexposed here okay so I want to go to my clip level and exposure here using my HDR global exposure I'm going to open exposure all right to about here okay here exposure is right here I'm going to open exposure yeah do something like that because all right he's coming back from his fishing day a little bit exhausted here all right so that's um, before after and that is before the look that's after the look before the look after the look giving some nice film vibes here that I like a lot here okay so that is before the look that's after the look something that I want to do now is I want to add a little bit of texture to my image so I'm going to prepend the node here which I'm going to call filter and I'm going to go into my open effects and go color tone diffuser drag that in and now in diffusion I want to pull back on the resolution a little bit it's going to make my images a little softer okay and then then tick diffusion and just play with these two sliders and you see when I go off on off on it's going to nicely diffuse the highlights okay uh, let's see before after and give that nice little glow that I think is really nice all right here and then after my contrast node I'm going to create a new node that I'm going to call grain then search for grain the resolve grain okay and go 35 millimeter grain or actually 16 millimeter for YouTube is going to be perhaps a little bit more um, easy to see and I'm going to crank the grain so grain strength let's increase it before after before after before after let's play it let's go grain size let's go a little bit stronger play with these okay I mean it's looking pretty good I like what I've got going on here in fact if here I go off on the look on really like what I have going on here before with no look with the look yeah all of a sudden we're at the movies kind of like that and now because the look library that I have used to grade this project is solid and has been competently designed I know that I can rely on those lots on any project they're going to give me a really nice base if I wanted to pull back a little bit on the warmth here I can go to the split node go to the key output here 
and pull back a little bit on it, go to 0.5, all right? And that is going to be my new look, okay? Off, on, off, on. If I want to add a little bit of coolness to my look, I can go before my entire look stack here and maybe go into my RGB curves and pull my red down in the shadows a little bit, okay? Before, after, before, after. And that is going to be now my entire look, okay? So yeah, it's up to you to create the look that you want. And that can work pretty well too, all right? Now, obviously, by no means feel obliged to get this lot back because you have in Resolve for free, you've got lots of options to create looks. You've got the Film Look Creator, which is really solid. You can design your own looks, all right? In fact, I encourage you to design your own looks, save them as power grades, then load them, you know, create your own look library. And that is free, guys, okay? If you don't have Resolve Studio, get Resolve Studio because I don't think there's the look creator uh, in, in the free version of Resolve. So first get the um, studio version of Resolve. That is going to be money really well invested. Now, if you wanna go for that look library that I have designed, the link is in the description. You've got the starter pack, which is about applying the five different looks and tweak the opacity for the entire look. This is already pretty solid. If you want some extra control, go for the expert pack because this is going to give you maximum control over the five looks and control the contrast, the split, or the 3D remapping um, for the look. This way of grading is going to save you a lot of time on projects and going to give you really solid results. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know down below in the comments what you thought about it. Subscribe to the channel to not miss the future videos that I'm going to make. Follow me on Instagram and um, I will see you in the next video. Salut, prenez soin de vous.